apply this time either. Eh, but she's doing okay. I can say that much. That's good to hear. I can rest easy then. Now's about getting that pot wrapped. I've got this new sunflower print, huh? How's that sound? Hmm. Yeah, that one's cute enough. He's got a fucking. Go he's got a squeeze somewhere back on the mainland. Did he just say cute? <clears throat> Help you with something? Someone dropped this letter. Do you have any idea who it might? <laughs> you didn't read it, did you? Wait, it's yours? We didn't read it. <laughs> much. You really didn't read it? N no, of course not. Put this letter in with the package. Who's got it? When you ship with the Turtles Express, rest assured your mail is in good hands. If you're done here, we're ready to head out. Our destination is Midgam. Yeah, I'm all set. Was he sending a gift to someone? And with a letter, too. Gotta be a lady friend, that's for sure. You think? Either way, that letter was really polite. And did you see that penmanship? Yeah, I didn't know old Reeps had it in him. I can hear you two, you know. Ah. <laughs> Yikes. Better watch what we say from now on. Yeah. I noticed you've come up with your little name for the kid. You sure are the sentimental type, aren't you? Oh? Calling him Fee doesn't cost me anything. And it's not like I gave it much thought. That may be the case. I'm trying really hard not to care. Has taken even that token effort. And in doing so, I wonder if maybe you were trying to encourage him to be his own being. After all, one requires a name before he can consider his own identity. Having been given a name, he realizes he is his own entity, separate from others, and a certain formless essence comes to life inside him. And you're the one who set that process in motion for the kid. <laughs> Whether you intended to or not, you changed him from a puppet into a living being. So, what's your point? I've been with you since the start of this journey, haven't I? It wouldn't kill you to give me a nickname, would it? I'd never really thought of us as being that close. And besides, you just forced your way into the group. Come now! I know you've got a bigger heart than that! Surely you have it in you to give a nickname to a dear friend! We're not dear friends. And even if we were, I'm not good at nicknames anyway. Please, I'm begging you. Okay then, Moggy. Oh come on, that's so obvious. Can't you put some heart into it for your dear <laughs> friend? Fine, Lou. Do I look like an old man to you? You're not even trying. Okay then, Witchy Mick Witcherton. Interesting. Well, if I had to rank it against one thousand other nicknames, I'd probably put it at number one thousand and eleven. A nickname needs to have charm. It needs to leave a lasting impression. Sure then. Patty. Now you're just saying what you see! <laughs> That's not any better either! Ms. Creepy Eyes. That's just an insult! Look, no nicknames based on what you see, and especially no slandering! Lil Miss Witch who smiles around you but stabs you in the back when you're not looking. Hey, that's personal information! Look, I told you. I'm not good at coming up with nicknames. Forget it! I should have known this wouldn't work! Aizen, what happened to those octopuses? Dial and Kurogane took them to the kitchen. They said they were going to make dinner for Kamoana. They're going to feed demons to her? Atheria needs malevolence to survive. That's why they carried them off alive. What do they plan on making? Octopus I'm pretty sure we fucking destroyed them, but okay. Fried octopus on the side. And Helovician octopus carpaccio. Do they have a takoyaki pan here at the prison? Kurogane hammered one out with some iron, along with a large pot for the pasta. <laughs> Still looking like that? Takoyaki would hit the spot right about now, though. Octopus ink pasta, huh? Like squids, octopuses release ink as a defensive mechanism, but theirs is made of different stuff and is used in other ways. Squid ink is stickier and acts like a decoy. But octopus ink spreads out like a cloud of smoke. But squid ink has 30 times the savory flavor. So octopus ink isn't used in pasta all that often. Laffy told me the same thing. He said that's why octopus ink pasta isn't very good. Laffy said that? Yeah, so I ended up not making it for him. But I wonder... 
I guess it doesn't matter, since I can't taste it now. I'll taste it for you then. So make me some octopus ink pasta sometime, all right? All right, and I'll be sure to make some that doesn't come from demons. Hey, who did Aizen send that letter and cooking pot to anyway? I don't want to think about it. That walloping still stings. You've got to be curious though, right? Maybe. It was serious stuff. Whoever it is must be important to him. A lover, maybe? Aizen's lover? A child wouldn't be happy with that cooking pot, and a man wouldn't want it wrapped up so pretty. A young woman with Aizen's tastes, then. He'd be bound to fall for a miraculous match like that, right? I don't know. I bet she's that girl with the yellow umbrella. You really have a thing for her, don't you? I do not. That's not what I mean. Then pray tell. What do you mean? Huh? Eavesdropping, Eleanor? How unseemingly rude of you. Besides, Luffy said is free to like whomever he chooses. You're one to talk about eavesdropping, Moggy Lou. Anyway, it's just that the sunflower design on the wrapping reminded me of her. Now that you mention it, but does it really matter? He has someone to write to in any case. True. She, she's becoming more and more human. Who? Velvet. Velvet. Nice way of summing it up, Velvet. So you were eavesdropping too, then. Uh, Say, what do you think about Aizen? Oh, so that's the kind of guy you're you gotta go, guys. Let's chat for a while. Not what I'd expect, but... No! I just feel there's something different about him. The way he picks presents, the objects that catch his eye. Oh, his is that His deep all? history Boy. of everything. No kidding. All men have some kind of particular interest, big or small. I suppose that's true, but he seems a bit... Shall we say, overly obsessive? Now that you mention it, he does have a tendency to ramble on about various topics. And it's not just the items he collects. There's more to it? Every weekend, he eats curry for dinner, and every time we go into port, he docks at the third ballard. Come to think of it, I heard the galley crew complaining that he always needs his pasta cooked exactly the right way. And when he needs a new outfit, he always goes to the same tailor and returns with identical clothes and boots. It all has to be exactly the same size and in exactly the same color. Turtle says he's very nitpicky. Sounds like he's not so much picky as he is a pain in the ass. But I do see a different side of him now. I thought pirates were all rough and filthy, but it seems they can be quite meticulous. Not much of a reassessment. Alrighty, let's just keep going. It must not feel great only ever getting tails, I bet. Nah, I don't really mind that much. It's way too late for me to start letting that bother me. Yeah, but wouldn't it be nice to get heads at least once? Hell, I know I'd like to see that, and I bet Laffy said here does too. Yeah, I do. Right? That's why I've brought something a little special. Ta-da! What's so special about that coin? It looks identical to the one Aizen already has. But she flips it and it has Aizen tails. Does, yes. But both sides of the coin are actually heads. I had Kurogane make it for me custom. If both sides are heads, then not even the Reaper's curse can stop it. It's gonna land on his yeah, side. But that's cheating. Oh, yeah. What's the point in getting heads if it's rigged that way? It's not cheating. It's called effort and hard work. <laughs> no. If you always work hard and never give up, you'll make your own way forward. All right, I'm in. I'll get that heads for you. What? That crow just flew off with the coin. Those birds are attracted to shiny objects, I suppose. Damn it, I can't even win against a crow. Don't sweat it. I figured something like that, <laughs> so I had a backup ready. Go on, give it a shot. You'll show that curse who's boss this time. All right, here goes. I don't believe it. Now Prince Percival's griffin's gone and eaten the other coin right out of the air. Are you kidding me? Not to worry. I've got a spare backup. It's time to put that curse on notice. <laughs> right. Here I go. Hmm. 
gotta be kidding me. Reaper's curse or not, does it really have to go this far over a damn coin? It's fine, really. I had a feeling it'd turn out like this. Well, I sure didn't. Yeah, me neither. Hilarious. Eisen, is there uh, anything we can do about the prince's hawk? Griffin, I mean, she, day it goes out on these now I'm worried that the game sound is like really stuff. quiet. But a real mess this is what we always had it at, right? Hawks yeah. Hawks. What's the big deal? Well, yeah. At first, it was bringing back good stuff like seaweed and fish, things we could cook with. Sure, I was glad for a while. But then it started to escalate. Now we're talking 150 kilo amber camps and 350 kilo killer swordfish that it's catching. That's not a bad thing, is it? It just means more to eat. It is when they're being dropped from the sky onto the deck. Especially those killer swordfish and razor sharp bills. What if somebody gets run through by one? Can't you just warn the prince that his bird needs to be more careful? Yeah, we could, but he looks so happy watching his hawk. I'd hate to spoil it for him. Yeah, the prince looks so happy whenever Griffin is flying free. He kept grinning and asking Grocky all nice like if he wanted to fly some more. Grocky? That's what Kamawana kept calling Griffin. She says she came up with it by combining Griffin and Hawk. <sighs> this is probably the first time in the prince's life that he's tasted any freedom. His whole life he's only done what duty dictated of him. Letting Griffin fly was his first free act. To the prince, Grocky is an extension <laughs> of who he is. So what are we going to do? Nothing, really. It's not like it really hurt anybody. But it's punctured some major holes on the deck. I'm sure even the prince knows when to rein it in. Let him have a little fun. He deserves it. I don't know about all that. I'd say the prince is letting his newfound freedom get the better of him. Hey, I was just up on deck and it looks like Griffin's caught an elephant tuna this time. An elephant tuna? That's the really big tuna that can swallow a killer whale whole, right? That almost sounds like a demon to me. Yep, huge fish, gills like elephant ears. I saw it myself. From the looks of it, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a demon. It's crazy valuable. On a good day, it can fetch 20 million gold on the market. But there's something ominous about seeing it hovering in the air above the ship. 20 million gold? I take back everything I said. The Prince and Griffin can do whatever they want. Did she say above the ship? Oh, hell. Benwick, we need to stop Prince Percival. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, don't drop that on the deck! Are you listening to me? Did, did this just become a sitcom? I, I, I... Bum, ba dun 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 <laughs> The skipper's letter is a forbidden op subject among the crew. Best to leave it alone. And with that warning out of the way, we're ready to set sail. Where are we going? We need to go to Midgad. That's in Midgand. That's in southwest of Islegand, and that's in Waterside. West Gand. Okay, so Midgand is Port Zexon. Oh my god, it's like we got there in like a second. It was crazy. Yum, 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 yum. The boss has given me a message for you. Says there's some sort of nasty demon running around in the Aldina Plains to the east of Logris. She thought it might be the one you're looking for. Wasn't the Eastern Highway closed off from Logris? That was only temporary. It's back open now. If you follow the road, you'll reach Stonebury Village. That's where there we get the hoverboard. Sick. You want to know more? That'd be a good Only 30 start. hours into the game. Got it. Over hey, the span of several months. <laughs> All right, you guys might hear some doubling. Might hear some doubling. 
is there. Budwing's story. Then let's start by going to Stonebury. Hey, Eisen, did I say something wrong back there? No. I just forgot to mute it. No, you didn't forget to mute it. Oh, did. you did. Okay. Huh? He means the Earth pulse what the fuck do you think was I happening? I didn't know it was happening. Oh, you didn't forget to mute it. I just had something totally unrelated, I think, happened. I didn't actually know what was going to happen until I came <laughs> up with it right as the words were going to leave my mouth. That's just how it goes in the underworld. Things can change at the drop of a hat, a poison hat. But how are they supposed to trust us if we don't show them trust in kind? That messenger knew our faces, even though we'd never met. He was here waiting for us, even though we hadn't told anyone where we were going. You're right! We hardly know the first thing about them, and yet they seem to know every move we make. They could easily sell us out if it struck their fancy. They'll work with us as long as we're a useful ally in their resistance against the Abbey. But the more tricks we can keep up our sleeve, the better. We've got each other's back. But only as long as we hold a knife up our sleeve. That's what counts as trust in the underworld. That sounds terrible. But at least you can trust Sounds the like the beginning of a fucking movie. song in a musical. <laughs> Can't argue it's because it's trust in the underworld. In the underworld. You know. This is everyone's first time to Stonebury, right? Why was it blocked off? Demons? No. There was a great tornado on the Aldina Plains that swallowed up a whole merchant caravan. Hundreds gone in an instant. The cooling of the climate is causing bouts of odd weather. Oh, I forgot about climate. Thunderstorms, heavy downpours climate cooling. And the like. Correct. The Abbey is keeping a tight guard on traffic through the affected areas. If it's open now, that must mean the tornado is gone. I wonder what sort of place it is. It's quite lovely. In the vast forest to the east, you can find gemstones, and it's teeming with rare plants and insects. The locals trade only as much meat and hides as they need, and they live peaceful, quiet lives. You sure know a lot about this place. It's where the Norman he first fell in love with grew up. Yes! Please don't embarrass me. Though we are apart from each other now, our hearts are still as one. Immediately after you and I made our pact and set off, she fell in love with some macho Norman and moved away. What? Why haven't I heard about this? How long have you known? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I found out during my long search for you. Or maybe it was right after we left. I remember leaving something in the village and going back to... Oh, well, not like it matters. It does matter! There's no sense in crying over a fickle girl. Come. Stonebury awaits. Come. Come. Oh my god, so many little like, icons and stuff to look at. Talk to the one guy and make sure that we don't have to... This guy? Yep. Girl? Excellent timing. I just got a new request. Rainbow Rock. Brands plus Level one. Level 42. Serial Killer Tree. Hmm. Plus one maximum souls to characters wearing equipment that has been enhanced. A combined total of 20 more times. Provides a 25% increase in the amount of healed by healing arts on... Oh, shit. Characters at 25% or low. Oh, nice. We got a ways to go. Hmm. Go! I'm just seeing if there's anything else. There's nothing there. else. You can look at the map. Okay, dude. I was just taking it in. I know, but we have, like... Pretty much just story stuff. I want to at least get to Stoneberry, see if we can get to the one thing. Make sure you're going the right way. Okay. So we got to head right. So Southern Denon Highway, you think? Probably. They are out in full force today, guys. Oh, God. The fucking hell is it? Oh, he just peached down aired you. Your 
Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out. Wait till I pull out my dick. What are you doing? I'm going oh you're going I, the wrong way. I fucking you're doing. flash bulbed the wrong direction. I was like, yeah, it's up from here. Ooh, there's a chest. Oh, I bet just that little question mark area right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. We need to stockpile these. Think you're just like gonna be in the way or some shit? Yeah, that's the way to go. No, it's not. Go back to the map. You oh, it's way go, farther down. Yeah, okay. you have to go down. Okay. Do you, you really king? think that's gonna work? Oh my god, are you fucking real? Blessed drops. Oh, I think I should grab that chest, chest over there. Yeah. I think I should grab this chest real quick. Why don't you see if it's open? It's closed. It is closed. And there's another chest. 